Welcome back to another boss tutorial in Black Myth Wukong. Now, this boss we're fighting now is the White Clad Noble. He's a lot more difficult than the previous boss we fought in this game because he's got two phases for a start, but I'm going to go in. I still think I'm pretty under level for what it is. I've been rushing through this. I'm level 15 at the moment. We're going to be using the Pilgrim's Armor again. So when you're sprinting, each second increases attack and this effect can stack up to 10 times. We're going to be using that because he's going to be firing a lot of projectiles at us and we're going to be running around charging up our heavy attack. So the longer you're running around, the stronger you're going to be. It can stack up to 10 times. So yeah, we're going to be using that. And then we just got a bronze cloud staff. I think that's from the DL the, the not the DLC, the, uh, the deluxe edition that we got. But we have you can use the willow wood staff as well if you want to. Now, when it comes to the self advancement, I've got it all in stamina really. I've got a few things in the stamina, a couple in martial arts. We have got some that we can put in right now. So let's just I don't know put anything in. Uh, let's just go with I don't know this one. Uh, Grant more focus on the second move of the light attack combo. Yeah, we'll have that. And then not in, in Smash Dancers, it's pretty much just to get the secondary get the secondary focus point right there. Not in, in Mysticism and nothing in Transformations. Uh, we did also use the Wonder and White as well, and he's up to level 2. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're going to go into the battle now, and yeah, we'll see how we get on. I haven't done this fight since the first run through, so hopefully I'll still be able to beat him. But if I remember right... You don't really use much at the start. We're going to use an immobilize here and there, but that's about it. Dodge his first attack, get in there with a couple of lights, and then he's going to go crazy. This, that's the one. So now you can charge your focus points up, and then get him with the attack right there. And then just get him a few times. Watch him, watch him. Okay. I think that's an AoE attack as well. Second. There we go. Nice big attack. Look at that. Nearly half his health. And now we can freeze him, and then get in there with a few light attacks. Smash him with that one heavy there as well. And this is nearly his first phase down already. Watch your stamina. That's what I will say. Watch your stamina. Right, there we go. Big attack. And there we go. That's the first phase down. The second phase should be fairly easy from now on. Because we can transform. We can use the Wonder and White. And then we just need to wait for the Immobilize to come back as well. So, that's pretty much how you do it. Hopefully, I'm not going to die. But I doubt we are at this point. But we'll give it a go. Anyway. Let's see how we get on. I think we'll transform first. And try and get some nice attacks in there. Try and build that focus bar up again. Just like that. And then dodge heavy. And get that attack on him. That's the one you want to hit him with right there. That does a lot of scorch damage. You can just go in here all out. And there we go. We get a second one in here now as well. Dodge heavy attack. And there we go. Look at that. That's half his health down already. And now we can just... Sort of wait for him. Oh, watch your health, watch your health. Heal up, heal up. And now we're going to try and hit him with the Wandering White if we can. Like that. We missed him, we missed him. But you can hit him with that. And if you do hit him, you'll be thankful for it. Trust me, trust me. Right, so we're doing that charge again. Oh my god, he hit us again. Okay, ignore me there. Right, so we've made a bit of a mess of this. But we still should be okay. We still should be okay. Look at his health. we got more gold. We should be okay. Watch your stamina, watch your health. And you should be good. Big heavy attack. And there it is right there. White clad noble defeated. If we did hit him with that wandering white before, he'd be done already. He would be done already. But now we're just like tidying up the last little bits. That's what we're doing. And there you go. There's the white clad noble. Defeated. A little bit rough around the edges. But that's the idea. How you actually beat him. If we would have hit him with the wandering white, it would have been fine. At the end, I was just going for it because we had enough gold and we had enough health. We only had a little bit left. But yeah, let me know what you think of this one down below. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And I will catch you in the next one.